If you are the president's son, you get a sweetheart deal. It resolves the issue legally for Hunter Biden. Uh, it does not take it off the field for the 2024 campaign, not at all. I think that, um, you know, as we've already seen this morning, it, it just feeds into the current narrative out there and, and it provides talking points for Republicans. We know that there's more than one in America who doesn't pay their taxes or doesn't use the right forms uh, and then has to pay, you know, the taxes back with interest. Hunter Biden is, uh, is no different from thousands and thousands of Americans who are accused of not uh, paying their taxes properly. I don't think that's a charge that really can stick that well in a campaign season. The gun possession issue uh, for Hunter Biden is problematic for Joe Biden, who has really made gun safety and gun control the hallmark of his presidency and also his career as U.S. Senator. Uh, it would be beyond hypocritical for President Biden to suggest that the law should not be used to its fullest extent against somebody who lied on an application to get a gun.